All right, this is a tribute to the Pasadena house. This is the house we've lived in for over 10 years and has been home to countless video productions and YouTube productions, tens of millions of views I think on YouTube have happened right here. Um, this is the literal home of homemade movies and other big shows that I did like DIY Prop Shop and DIY Costume Squad. So this is a little retrospective, kind of a look back at the awesome stuff that's taking place in this house. We made use of every single inch of this place. First year that we were here in 2012, one of the first really cool things that happened here was I was actually a contestant on a show on the Sci-Fi Channel called Viral Video Showdown. Let's meet Dustin McLean. Hey, welcome. So that was like full-blown like reality crew came here to the house. They parked all their like vans outside. It was like the full-blown like reality show production. My, my buddy Sean helps with a lot of the props, and Priscilla helps. Okay, look at all this slime we got. It was like three or four days where the cameras just kind of follow you for 24 hours a day. That's the rest. And so that was just like the thing that really kicked off this house being the home of production. That's it. We're just down to the wire. <laughs> All right, so at the very end of 2012, I did my first shot-for-shot -shot recreation of a movie trailer. It was Man of Steel. It was a huge movie trailer, and the week that it came out, I started filming right in here, recreating every single shot. I used every corner of this house, but it did pretty well online on a YouTube channel, so I immediately jumped into the second one, which was Star Trek Into Darkness, and then that was uh, retweeted by Simon Pegg and Bad Robot and totally went viral, got over a million views. And that's when Cinefix reached out to me to see if I would do the show as a weekly series. So starting 2013, uh, we did it once a week, as most of you already know, um, full shot for shot recreation, and it was all here in the house. I had guys here full time. I mean, you know, you can watch the behind the scenes. You can see all the mayhem that took place here. Nice. <laughs> But there were a lot of really, really memorable moments. Hey Doc, I got your hair. Thank you, Marty. Flashing a flashlight for lightning. His hair is blowing. He really looks like Doc up on the clock tower. He got a clean plate of the larger DeLorean driving down the street. And then without moving anything, we set up the version of the wire that has the lightning on it. So this yarn is gonna be our electricity. Part of the fun and the challenge of that show was that there were so many shots in a movie trailer, like hundreds, sometimes 200 shots and you had to just find anything that looked like a backdrop. We're not gonna build sets for everything, so it would just be like, all right, let's tilt the camera and just like lay down in the corner. That kind of looks like the side of the spaceship or whatever. Um, so we were just like making use of every single corner. I mean, every corner of this house. Hans Gruber falls out of the building in super, super slow motion. Oh, I hope that's not a hostage. Uh, right where I'm standing was where we set up the X-Wing on one of my dining tables and of course Chris Hardwick came and he played Luke Skywalker. Now I want this to be an actual ride. Oh, we can make that happen. Hey! I'm gonna throw up! And that took place exactly right here. So he's sitting right here in the little cockpit that we built and I'm here with the camera just shooting that way. Um, but this was like our main hub. The dining room was where we kind of built and made everything, and then we would kind of clear it all out and shoot mostly in the dining room, in the living room, sometimes using both together. Another really memorable time for the Jurassic Park T-Rex scene, which mostly was set up in here, and we built the big um, the car, the flat car, and this is all forest, and we did a lot of the light action stuff right here. We have a huge green sheet that's like 20 or 30 feet long, and we have a bunch of guys just carrying it past the camera. We also did something similar in the Batman, the animated intro. All the characters are going by at once or something, and so we had all the characters made out of cardboard, and we had 
people way out into the street, and so it would come in the door, come right here where the camera saw it, and then go into the bedroom. So all that stuff has to happen in one shot, and the timing has to be right, and it was difficult. I remember a time when just every corner of this room was just piled with either the stuff from the previous episode or stuff from the next episode or two because Ben would be here every day kind of getting ahead and building props and costumes for what was to come while we were shooting the current one. We got a bunch of people together and shot all these crazy shots. Sometimes there's four turtles, three foot, clan, shredder, tatsu, april, whatever. One of my favorite rigs was right here where we did this big looping sheet pulley thing for when Superman catches Lois Lane. We emptied this entire dining room out one time and just put a black sheet, moved the piano that used to be right there into the middle uh, for some shots in the I Love You Iron Man song. Iron Man, I love you Iron Man, that's me. Yes, I'm singing the song about myself to myself. It was also a lot of fun when we had uh, the real Rufio, Dante Bosco here, reprising the role of Rufio. This is very strange. Um, and we got to set him up and um, put the costume on, the homemade costume, and then we shot it right outside the window here. Um, set up the whole side of this house uh, so it looked like the ship. And then in the driveway, we had Captain Hook and the real Rufio sword fighting. <laughs> And people were driving by, and they're like, hey, it's Hook, because they could recognize the costumes, but little did they know it was actually the real Rufio. Awesome. Part of the homemade movies family. We did it. One of the times that we made use of the entire house for one whole episode was Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because that uh, was like a fight sequence that takes place in like a big house, and this is not a big house, but we could find just the right doorways and just the right different rooms. Of, um, it just made it look a lot bigger. Um, and there was a lot of explosions and things and like walls getting busted up and there was also like scenes where like um, he opens the the fridge and then there's stuff exploding so we made a bunch of confetti and we we're like exploding confetti out of it and then um, we used cut up pieces of water bottles to look like glass so in the bedroom there was glass shattering and uh, Priscilla always tells this to people when we talk about homie movies. She was finding shards of plastic and confetti in every nook and cranny in this house for at least two years after we shot that episode. It was just everywhere. I think every room in your house is a disaster right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I could still find some of that confetti. I knew that was gonna happen. We made pretty good use of the entire outside of the house too. The front, the back, the side. We did some night shoots like with Superman and Back to the Future. One time we had a guy tied up to the telephone pole out there for Hunger Games. I have no idea what the neighbors thought of us. We would shoot on the roof a lot of times too, and uh, Priscilla would come home from work and I'd be up there dressed as Spider-Man or uh, Iron Man. And we did draw a crowd of neighborhood kids that noticed that Iron Man was sitting up on the roof, so we got kind of a crowd going. She never knew like when she came home what she was gonna walk into. We'd have like five or six actors in full costume who'd be shooting in here. It was absolute mayhem. We did that for a couple years. Anyway, you get the idea. I mean, we just shot everything in this house. So after Homemade Movies moved out of here and Ben was doing it over at his house, I started a DIY prop shop. So this was, of course, where the dining table always was. And But I didn't want it to look just like a house, so I built like a fake brick paneling that I could just set up there. So it just looked a little bit more warehousey, and then I would just decorate like some crates and stuff with like the props and everything in the background. But yeah, the dining table is always right here, and I would just talk right to the camera facing that way, and I just did all of those props. Um, sitting right there in the actual dining room and you got some great natural light and then I would just hang some LED lights on the ceiling and then a little while after that when I started DIY Costume Squad which was really similar a lot of the episodes all the ones that like I hosted took place here too so it's kind of like really nice uh, to just use this space and spread out a little bit because I don't have a garage and I don't have like a proper workshop I would just bring my tools in here and I would shoot everything I'm out of here even some of the episodes that I wasn't hosting, um, we had take place here just because it was a really easy setup. And hey, why not shoot um, episodes of a show at home? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Thank you. Wow, I am short, next to Wonder Woman. <laughs> Even up until recently, like the Boba Fett helmet, um, I still just did that right here. So, of course, in the back is my office. Uh, this was all painted dark gray. Looks totally different. I had that window closed off and it was kind of soundproofed, but this is where I did all of my editing. All those early episodes of Homie Movies were edited right here and I did all the sound effects and music right here. 
But this is now just a very nice plain white room with a, a picture window. But I painted everything, ooh, so white and clean. A couple other random videos that were memorable that I shot in here were the remote out of control video. That was a big one, just all over the inside of the house here. There was also the flies water video where I'm just running around the whole house chasing the fly with the flies water. Oh, right here in this doorway, um, the Star Wars, the Princess Leia saves Luke Skywalker that I set up right here. The full like Death Star door on both sides. And then <laughs> all the, like it was backlit right here. And so we shot the whole thing right here with two cameras so we could get them in the doorway. Okay, you are the worst rescuer ever. I just, just throw it. I just don't think it's gonna carry our weight. <sighs> and then I did the CGI like set extension on some of the miniatures that I shot in here. Um, to make it look like this door is attached to the inside of the huge Death Star corridor. Okay, that one got caught on my leg. Not having a garage, the only thing that made this little tiny house possible for all this production was this attic. We had so much stuff stored up here. Not only uh, our personal stuff, because we live here, but for homemade movies, every single corner of this was filled with bins before we moved out to other places. It all originally started here. So everything's kind of categorized. Vests, tees, jackets, long sleeves, more wigs. So when we have a lot of miscellaneous characters, we can usually look here first and see what we have. See if we can turn it into another outfit. Anything we didn't already have, we would go to the thrift store and buy and build from there. All right, well, I guess that's it. I mean, there's obviously a ton more over um, 10 plus years that we filmed here, but um, it was the official home of Dust Films and the unofficial home of uh, Mashable, Cinefix, Brain Jolt, Jelly Smack, uh, all these other places that I ran content for. Uh, but a huge shout out to every single person that ever helped, all the people that wore crazy costumes or made DIY stuff or just did anything here whatsoever. And shout out to all of our friends who also just made this house a home and the many epic karaoke parties and Oscar parties that took place right here too. So stay tuned for more content on the channel. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of cool DIY projects and putting together my new YouTube office, my new YouTube DIY studio slash garage. Uh, I'll be doing videos of all that stuff. Thanks for watching.